Welcome back, Tool Fans. Tonight, we're at Ohio Power Tools Open House where we've got tools from Bosch, Flex, Milwaukee, and a bunch, bunch more. So hang in there, guys. It's time for the Tool Show. Welcome back, Tool Fans. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah, and we're at Ohio Power Tools. Yeah, we're here for their open house, and you can see behind us that we've got booths from all your favorite brands. So we're gonna swing by and see what some of them have. Let's go. I should probably follow her. Hey, my name is Chris Metcalf. I'm a key account manager here at Flex Power Tools. We're here at Ohio Power Tool and we're showing some of our Wave 3 products at, the, at our booth today. Uh, we've got a lot of things from our inspection light that's brand new coming out. It has three different settings and it moves in all different angles. We have a lot of other great products. I know people have seen, you know, this has been a hot item. Uh, just the anti-vibration that this has. When you pull that trigger, I mean, you can see my hand, there's absolutely no vibration when you pull that. Just amazing. Moving into wave three things, we have our new palm sander, the brushless palm sander. Uh, just a great unit, three different speeds, even has a turbo button on it. I thought this was interesting. This has like a, its own filter. So when you look inside there, you can physically see like that it's actually a filter so that it's gonna collect the dust when you're working with it. And then we come to our trim, trim router, uh, all adjustable, just a great unit. Comes with a round base as well. Obviously this type of base you could use up against a straight edge, but just a, a, a great unit. Then moving into some of our, our plumbing things, this big, huge, this hog drill, uh, I mean, just crazy when you have this in your hand, but it's an angle drill. This is our large one. We also have a, a, mid, a mid range one that's as well. It's about half this size, but just a great unit. Has all the features and all the bells and whistles, uh, a high and a low speed as well. Even the light on it. So when you pull that, it lights up your work area. And this, this unit here is brand new, just came out. Uh, you know, same thing, has a lot of great features. It has a built-in light for your work area. So when you pull the trigger, it lights up your work area. We've already had a lot of people comment about how it has these covers on here. Um, and it, it really gives you that protection that you need. You can open the unit up. There are even brushes that are cleaning the blade while it's, while it's running in here. And that's your mid. And then you have a full size, your full size setup. Similar things on this, the light, uh, your covers as well. And you know, these band saws are used, plumbing guys, uh, guys doing different types of, you know, ceiling hanging uh, things. So there's so many different uses for those band saws, but it's nice to have the two different options, especially when you're doing it portable. But we're here at Ohio Power Tool, you know, showing off all of our tools, a lot of exciting people here. Uh, you know, till the end of this year, we still have our lifetime warranty. We call it our Founders Club. I think that's something that's huge. We're basically saying, hey, you know, we're a hundred year old manufacturing company, but when we launched this 24 volt platform a couple years ago, we told people, we want you to believe in our brand. We want you to believe in our products. And we're offering that lifetime warranty till December 31st of this year. And I think that's something that you should take advantage of and give our product a try. All right, guys, our next stop's gonna be over in the Bosch booth. My buddy Dominic's over here. Let's see what he's got. Dominic, good to see you again, man. Hey, how you doing? Doing Thanks really good. So tell us, what are you most excited about at Bosch right now? So we're stepping into the interior finish game, and this is our new drywall screw gun. Um, it's brushless motor. It's on our 18-volt platform. Um, this also has the auto feeder magazine. It's a non-proprietary system, so you can pretty much use any type of screw strips that you are interested in. And the big selling point on this is what's called extend drive. So now you no longer have to hold down on that trigger, have that motor running in here the whole time. You just simply hold down on the trigger, press the lock button, turn on extend drive, and now it's only going to power the bit when there's pressure applied to the tool. You can get 2,000 screws on a single four amp hour battery charge. That's crazy, awesome. Very cool, man. And these guys have been out for a little bit now, right? So I can get them yeah, anywhere? Yeah, absolutely. Anywhere where the best power tools are sold. Like, can you give us an example? Like OPT. Oh, power tool right here. Thanks, bud. Good to see Thanks, you again. Thanks, man. I'm just going to keep this. <laughs> I'm Todd. I'm with Weha, and I want to show you some stuff on our Impact Terminator Blue Bits. 
We have our little um, T25 impact block set up here. We're going to do some demos on some other industry leaders in the impact bits. You put the bit in the block there, instantly snaps. And this is again an impact rated bit. We'll throw another bit in there. It's a DeWalt impact rated bit. Same thing, you get the brake. You throw our Weha Terminator Blue impact bit in there, made with CVM steel with a torsion zone as well. What that allows it to do, it adds a little flexion in the bit so that when you put it in here, it doesn't break. Comes out perfect. Next, I'd like to talk a little bit about our torque control. In our torque control, we have inch pounds or Newton meter measurements. This, for instance, is a 18 to 62 inch pounds. Our insulated is a 10 to 50 inch pounds. How you dial it in, you take the little tool here, you see the viewing window, you turn it to the desired torque, 46 inch pounds for instance, put your quarter inch bit holder back in, or in the case of the insulated, you would put your insulated slimline bit holder back in, that would lock into place, and then you'll hear two clicks when it torques out at that spec. These are in a variety of inch pounds and newton meters in vario torque as well as the fixed torque. And finally, I want to highlight our bicut, supercut compound cutters. At first glance, these look like your normal side cuts, but you'll notice a power button on the top. If you were to take this, trying to cut a nail, very hard to get through, right? That is at full capacity. The power button actually adds another leverage point, another pivot point adds 200% more power. So that same nail that was hard to get through, it's now like butter. Check out tools like this and more at wehowtools.com. All right guys, our next stop at the Ohio Power Tool Open House is gonna be at the Milwaukee booth. They've got some of their most popular new additions to the MX Fuel family. Uh, but I don't know enough about this stuff. Luckily, Alicia here does. No, Alicia, so nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Yeah, so Excited. Alicia, what can you tell us about, I, mean, I see a bunch of stuff that we got a preview of at the World of Concrete. You guys are making some big, big changes on the MX line. What can you tell us about this? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm really excited to kind of tell you guys we are the first brand today that is able to provide a completely cordless lineup of solutions for wet concrete, all the way from pour to finish. So some of the new products here that we're adding to our lineup, one is our MX Fuel 6-inch green concrete saw. This tool has the ability to cut up to one and a half inch depth with no gas headaches, but gas-like performance. On one battery, you're gonna get up to 160 linear feet of cutting per charge. So everything you need to operate the tool right at the touch of your fingers, including this game-changing feature of a guide arm lever. This has been a hot, hot feature for us. Today, when you're getting close to a wall, yep. this is something that is completely done by hand. You have to interrupt your cut. We bring everything to the touch of your fingers, making it as easy as possible. Keep your work Very going. Cool. Over here on top of the slab, we're showcasing our new MX Fuel trowels. So this is gonna be our MX Fuel 24 inch walk behind edging trowel. And behind me, we have our MX Fuel 36 inch walk behind trowel. Both, again, eliminating all of those gas headaches, but delivering five horsepower performance. Wow. So much less vibration, quieter. We were just running this. You can talk to one another while it's running. Yeah. It's a game changer and don't have to deal with any of that maintenance as well. These are both gonna be kitted with our new 12 amp hour batteries as well. Um, from a runtime standpoint, up to 25 minutes at full throttle, up to 30, really? 35 minutes at full throttle as well. Yep. No kidding. Yep. Awesome, that's yeah. great. All right, I'm not gonna lie though, I'm easily most excited about this core drill. Yes. This is a beast. Now remember at the launch for MX, you had the portable one. What makes this different? Besides, yeah. Clearly, it's bigger. Absolutely. So to your point, right, we entered the system with our handheld core drill and stand that was allowing users to core easier, safer, up to six inch holes. They said we couldn't do it, but here we are <laughs> with the first cordless solution 
that is going to have the power to do up to 14 inch holes in reinforced concrete. So this is our MX Fuel core rig. Uh, it's really impressive and I'm really excited to show you guys a demo if yeah, you're ready do. for it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see it. Let me get my water hooked up here. We can get started. Awesome. What size is that? Is that a, that's that is a 14 inch, inch bit. Oh that gosh, is a 14 inch bit. Yep. So I was watching the performance gauge the entire time, which makes it very easy to see, you know, how much force to give. Yep. From a runtime standpoint, this is going to be kitted with our new eight amp hour battery on a 10 inch diameter bit. Yeah. You're going to be able to get up to four holes through six inch slab reinforced with number five concrete. No kidding. Yep. Excellent. Well, awesome. Thanks, Alicia. We appreciate it. Thank you guys. Hi, my name is Alex Patchen. Would like to d demo and show you guys today our new MX Fuel Pipe Threader. Three things I'm going to do here. It's going to cut first. Going to ream it. Then we're going to thread it. Little background on the threader head. Um, it has a little auto stop on here. So once you activate it, as you're threading, once it hits it, it's actually going to auto release for you. Um, letting you know that the thread is complete. You can take that off if you choose to, if you want to go a little bit deeper, but that is one feature that we offer on our threader head. And it's complete. So obviously the MX Fuel line is an expanding line here in Milwaukee Tool. This is the newest addition to that line. So the MX Fuel Pipe Threader, um, really the biggest three things. It's portable, um, it contains the mess, so it's not gonna get oil all over the place and then the speed of it. So portable and transporting it is simple. Have a little lever down here that you can actually collapse it. And then the two wheels on the front offer you easy mobility around the job site. So nice and simple to get around. Storage as well. If you want to store it vertically, you have the ability to do that. Just uh, eliminate some of the space in the, on the truck or on the site. And then pull the little lever again to bring it up. And you're ready to go. Does up to two inch pipe. And a couple like key things, as I was mentioned earlier, it has the ability to cut, ream, and then thread. So going back to the threader, or excuse me, the die head, like I mentioned, has a little auto, adjust, or auto stop latch here. So you can actually have that there. And once the pipe hits it, it's gonna auto release for you, just to let you know that the thread is complete. You have the ability to turn that off as well if you wanna go a little bit deeper, but just to give you that really that big option. On the head also, it has a micro adjust dial on here. So again, it does up to two inch, so you can actually adjust to what size you're threading. E easy accessibility, easy visibility, um, and it's ready to go. The final thing I should say is the mess containment. So it has an oil reservoir in here that essentially recycles the oil for you. So traditionally, you don't have to carry multiple pieces, um, including the oil bucket with you. It all recycles itself as you're using it. And then this disposable, this tray right here, keeps everything right there so you can easy, easily uh, throw it away. Just that mess containment. Hey guys, my name's Chris. I don't know where Rob went, I think he went to the restroom, but I'm gonna check out Black Ladder. 
Hey, my hey. name's Chris Yates. How, How are you doing, you? Chris? Frank Montoya with Block Ladder. So what's new over here? What do you got going on? Uh, well, we actually have our new four-way stretch pant that just came out. Okay. I don't know if you've seen our Block Ladder brand. Yep. Oh, yeah. I've seen it on Robin Sarah's show. Oh, Robin Sarah, great. Yeah. They're actually oh, they're, yeah, one I of our biggest them advocates. Time. Watch them all the time. I love it. <laughs> they're always in their gray Block Ladder jacket. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have our new four-way stretch, removable pockets. Very nice, very nice. Those look like they can so, fit me too. Yeah, and with our pants, we actually do the seven belt loops, so the weight of the pockets as you're filling the pockets down. They're not very they're not heavy full. either, but are they warm? They're warm in the winter time? Uh, no, but we actually have the, our fleece line pant as well that we have for winter time. Nice. That actually just came out a few weeks ago. Okay. So our fleece line pants, waterproof. Windproof. It's gonna be great for winter time, especially us here in Ohio. Oh yeah, yeah. It gets cold over here. It gets. Cold. I always tell everybody they're gonna be my new snowboarding pants. Awesome. <laughs> so the, awesome. But as far as our our style, we actually manufacture all of our own stuff. Yeah. Bellowed pockets, so stuff's not shooting out the top. Right. Right. Makes Ham sense. Hammer loop on the back, so we actually sell the hammer bracket for. Oh, itself. that's nice. Little button there yep. too. Four-way stretch, magnetic pocket on the side there. And these with the, look with like the cell phone pocket. These look like they have the built-in knee pad pockets as well. Yeah, they do. And Check so, that out. You put the knee pads in there, it looks like, right? Yep, they come in from the bottom. We actually changed it over time as far as the design. So the pocket used to be on top. So you're not dropping little bits of concrete that when, or you know, metal shavings, anything like that. Makes so, sense. Yeah, absolutely. So it's perfect. Well, thanks, Frank. I appreciate no, it. I appreciate it. I'll definitely be uh, ordering some pants here soon. Definitely. Keep awesome. in touch, Chris. Yeah. Take care. Back to you, Rob. <laughs> All right, guys, our next stop is going to be over in the Wright booth. I don't know if you've heard of them before. We have because, just like us, they're right here in Ohio. They are a family-owned business that makes hand tools here in the U.S. Let's go over here and talk to them. This is Beck. Beck, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. So tell us about this demo. Okay, so this is a demo of our Wright grip technology. So like you said, Wright makes uh, ratchets, wrenches, sockets, and attachments right here in Barberton, Ohio. So what we're gonna do here, we have a grade eight fastener that's mounted in one of our torque wrenches. I see it. So yep. I'm gonna have you pick a competitive wrench. We have okay. Snap-on, Craftsman. Oh, let's do Snap-on. All right, Snap-on. So take the open end of that wrench. Got it. And put it on here. Start it up kind of high. Okay. So what I'm gonna have you do. Like that? Yep. I'm gonna have you turn it till it rounds off. All right, ready? So turn right. it till it rounds off. Yeah. There you got it. Okay. So yeah, you took you a nice see. chunk out. Yeah, it did. Now let's let's see if we get a little more out of it. Here's an SK. All right. Put it on the same flat. Here's an SK. Oh, on the same there one. You go. Yep. Right there. Let's see if we get it to turn right. anymore. Oops. All right. No. So, okay. That is really torn off. So that off. fastener is good and boogered up. Yeah. So you're not going to be able to turn that anymore. Right? Extra boogered. Yeah, yeah. You'd be done. All right. Go home. Right tool, standard issue, nine sixteenths wrench with right grip two point oh. Right grip. 2 .0. No extra cost. That's okay. how it comes. Put That's it right on the goes. same right. right on the same right. flat. Up. Give it a turn. Give it a turn. Holy cow! Yeah, I can't. So it's not going to. It's not going to strip. So why it's doing that? We can pull it off there. Yeah, for sure. All right. So you can see the mouth of the wrench. We've got these little grooves there, and then the shape of the mouth of the wrench. Our okay. wrench turns on the flats of the fastener. Every other wrench you've ever used turns on the tips. So that means if you're dealing with an old corroded fastener or something like that, yeah, you're not going to be able to turn it. So with us turning on the flats, we have about 80% more contact uh, and torque uh, than our competitors do. No so to a guy on a tower, that means the potential for not having an injury. For a guy in a maintenance department, that means yeah. that if he's working on an old piece of machinery, he's going to be able to fix it. Very, very cool. Awesome. Well, thanks. Thank really you appreciate your time much. back. Appreciate it, appreciate guys. It. Go look up right. You guys aren't going to believe this. Look at this thing. A little portable half-ton hoist. This thing looks absolutely amazing. We just walked past it from a company called ALR. I've never heard of them before, but fortunately, I found the owner, Doug, over here. He's going to tell us all about it. Doug, hey, how you doing? Super nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, you for too. Doing, yeah, appreciate you stopping by. So, what can you tell us about this little tiny portable yeah. hoist? So, what's really cool about it is, um, so we do hoists that are compact hoists that all okay. fit within a bag like this. Anybody yeah. can take them, throw them into your toolbox or in your truck or whatever. Yeah. We do from quarter all the way up to three quarter tons, so a quarter, a half, and three quarter ton, from five foot of chain up to twenty foot of chain. Um, it's okay. a compact hoist. Um, it is something that just about every contractor out there needs to have because you never know when you're needing to pull something. You know, if a guy's welding something, he's pulling it together to, to weld. Yeah. Uh, if you just got to move something a little bit of a distance, that's what's that for. A lever hoist you can pull at any direction, side to sides, up and down, whatever. 
Whereas the chain hoists that are like these, the bigger ones are just yeah. straight up and down. And so it's a great utility product to be able to have. So we are, it's ALR, Atlas Lifting and Rigging. That was my next question yeah. too, is that I never heard of ALR. A yes. Excuse me, ALR before, yeah. so tell me about it. So we are Atlas Lifting and Rigging. Um, we're a Texas-based company. Um, so we started the business uh, in 2020. But okay. behind the scene, you've been around our products. If you've used hoists um, for probably 25 years, we are no actually kidding. the real manufacturer for the majority of hoists that are out there. No we made the decision a couple of years ago that we wanted to brand our own product. Yeah. And so the ALR brand is a new brand, but um, you've been around the product for a long time. The technology goes back you know, hundreds of years on hoists. So it's we do anything cool. from a compact hoist that's a quarter ton all the way up to some of the bigger hoists like these that will go up to a, you know 15 or to a hundred ton hoist and wow. so picking up boats and and those things um, used in every aspect of construction uh, mechanical contractors those things a lot of people will use I, I talked to a guy the other day and he said this is what I call it he said I call this my best friend he said I'll tell people go get my best friend because everybody has to have something where you're pulling and, and hooking things together and so, yeah, it's been a, a fun ride. So it's a new brand, but it's been around for a long time. Um, so, yeah, Thanks, we're excited Terry. about I, it. I really appreciate the introduction yeah. to it. If our fans want to go find more information about yeah. ALR, where do they go? ALRlift.com. That'll do. Thanks, so, guys. Hey, thanks, man. Have, Have a great, great show. Day. All right, thanks. I'm just going to steal this. Well, guys, I think that's about it for the Ohio Power Tool Open House. We've seen stuff from Milwaukee and Bosch and Flex. And you know what? I just, I don't know where I left Sarah. Um, wait a minute. Sarah... What, no, what is this? What are you doing? <clears throat> well, she's looking at this saw, the Super Saw Squatch. Did you know that you can cut through six by six timbers? This will cut through six and a quarter inches. She doesn't need to cut through six and a quarter yes, inches. Well, give it back. Give some, it back. You got to do it. You don't want to do it with two passes. We've got to go. It's the end of the show. We got to go. Come on. Sorry, don't Sarah. Don't be so sad. You'll be all right. All right, guys, thanks for joining us this week. We appreciate it. Special thanks to Ohio Power Tool for inviting us out here for their open house. We had an absolute ton of fun. We want to thank our sponsors. We want to thank Block Lotter. We want to thank Flex. We want to thank Spider for sponsoring our show and our community of tool fans. Are you ready to go home? Yes. All right, guys, if you can, do something kind for somebody else this weekend, and we'll see you next week. Let's get out of here.